and good evening, gang. It's one of our rare late-night Saturday shows on Saturday, the 3rd of June, 2017. A warm welcome along to today's United Kingdom talk. We had a, we've, we, this is the second time we've tried it, incidentally. We, <laughs> we already tried once tonight, but the synchronisation was badly out. I think it's okay. It's looking okay to me this end now. Can you tell me if it's okay to you? Then we can continue. All right? It's been busy, 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 busy. Now, uh, tonight we're going to go straight into recording our uh, radio show uh, on the show today, boys and girls. Uh, you may remember last night, last week we started recording a weekly show. Thank you, Adam. Uh, we started recording a weekly show for Upload Radio. And um, interestingly enough, I thought it was just for uh, South West London and Surrey and part of Berkshire, but apparently not. It goes all the way in. Li there's Liverpool um, and, and various other places as well. I thought the show... Oh, excuse me. It's, you know, oh, I thought it was just, just, just in South West London, so that's interesting. So we're going to go straight into that, boys and girls. Um, it would be fantastic if I could get a couple of phone calls on it for this week. So if, you, if you're ready to call in... Um, at some point, let me give you some things to. What do you want to talk about? What could we talk about on the uh, on the radio show? I did have some. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, things that we remember doing uh, when we were a child that perhaps young people wouldn't have a clue what they are now. Okay, so I'm going to be talking a little bit about that. Uh, we do a bit about Slimming World, I think, as well, because I'm, I'm I'm well into that and doing very well, and also my bits and pieces what I've been doing. Uh, what's something else here? I think there was something else. No, that's about it, isn't it? Okay, that's about it, all right? Uh, I think we have to, if it's on FM radio or DAB, I think we have to avoid politics at the moment. Something to do with the week before the run-up of the election. Because if I do politics, which I don't usually do anymore, but if I, if I was to say, like, Theresa May, I would have to say Jeremy Corbyn as well. You have to give him half... You have to give them the same airtime. It's all a load of twaddle. We can do anything on the internet. Anything at all. I might even do a little strip for you later. Are you getting excited? Yes. Uh, let's just do a, a couple of messages here first. Uh, my sister says, stop the music. Oh, she hates that music. Oh, stop moaning, sis. That's my sister, Sharon Butler there. She's probably, you know, taking a break from sit laying on the settee. She just lays on the tea, eating chocolates and drinking um, bottles of gin. That's basically all she does, I'm afraid. <laughs> all right, so you'll get a little bit of music and then we'll start, okay? So here we go. Where is it now? There it is. And hello, boys and girls. Welcome along. It's Chris Reardon with United Kingdom Talk, our weekly talk show here on Upload Radio. Now, you can catch me most days doing a live video. I say video show. It's more of a television spectacular. That's what it is. A live video and TV show most days by joining up to my Facebook page. Uh, my Facebook username is Chris Reardon UK. OK, so Facebook.com forward slash Chris Reardon UK. And there you get it. It's a near daily show. I say near daily uh, just in case I want to do something. For, for example, Friday. I was very busy Friday, so I didn't do a show on Friday. So if you ever want to catch me on my live video, uh, TV, Facebook pages, uh, 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 shows, please join me on facebook.com forward slash Chris Reardon UK. You can become a friend or just hit the follow button on there as well. All right. Uh, I talk about life in general, usually in a, in, a, in a humorous way. We like that word. Humorous way. In a humorous way. And also comment on some of the week's news stories. So that's what we do uh, on my daily little chat show. All right. Um, what have we got to talk about today? Well, I just want to thank someone first. As you know, I'm going to Slimming World now and doing quite well. I'm doing quite well. I want to thank Adam. Now, listen, I've got to... Can you, can, any idea what this is? Listen... Can you hear that? What's, what could that possibly be? Huh? 
Any idea? Adam the Plumber has bought me a wonderful United Kingdom Talk teapot. Check this out. Sadly, I haven't put any tea in it yet. Do you have to wash these things out? Do you do that? Do you wash, like, cups and plates and that before you use them? My best mate, his name's Ronnie, he's just up the road from here. He washes his sheets first before he uses them. What's all that about? I mean, it must be clean, mustn't they? Or is it because they've come from somewhere else? Is that is he worried that they might be infected with bugs or something like that? I like that word, infected. I can't decide if I like the word infected. What was the other word I just told you I liked? Or, <laughs> he says, running around, looking around for his little bit of paper. What was the other word I liked already this morning? Uh, humorous. No, infected sounds better. I like the word infected. So, um... Should I wash this out first? I don't know. So he's bought me a United Kingdom Talk teapot with a with with the Union Jack, not just painted on it, but it's kind of raised up. What's that called? Embossed. It's called embossed, isn't it? Oh, like that dreadful embossed wallpaper that some people have. Isn't that ghastly? Huh? Embossed wallpaper. How can you possibly put that up on your walls, boys and girls? Come on. I mean, I know it's cheap, but... God's sake, how can you have embossed wallpaper on your walls, in your houses, and then paint it and invite people around as well? Oh, it's horrendous. Anyway, so Adam bought me that uh, into uh, one of the places that I do karaoke at on, the, on Mondays and Fridays. I do Mondays and Fridays karaoke at Central Station in Wharfdale Road, King's Cross, if you want to ever join us. Mondays with cheap drinks from 8 o'clock. And Fridays from 8.30. Oh, incidentally, now, if you were thinking of coming along uh, Sunday, which is... Actually, no, I won't mention that. I'll mention that a little bit later. I'll mention that a little bit later, OK? Uh, Adam has also brought me in this Slimming World Veggie Deluxe recipe book. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, yes. And I've already tried out one of the uh, recipes uh, as I'm going to Slimming World now. Uh, called Quick Vegetable Risotto. And there's um, uh, 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 the Slimming World, it works on sins, you see. You're allowed so many food sins per day. I mean, being a Catholic, I should know about this already. But it's strange and mysterious, isn't it? Strange and mysterious that the priest has never talked about food sins. I mean, they're always going on about some other terrible sin, but not food sins. Isn't that strange? If that's a, they've got a bit of an infestation of ants at our church at the moment. Yes. Corpus Christi and Wokingham I go to. They've got ants in the church. I was kneeling down there the other day and watching these little ants scuttle past me. All in a line. How do they know where they're going? People often say that. Oh, how do the wasps all know where they're going? Or how do the ants know to walk there? Well, I mean, you know your way home, don't you? I mean, you know your way home. Unless you've got, you know, dementia or something like that. In which case you'll end up walking round and round in circles like my cat does. Oh, poor old soul dear. The cat continues to walk round and round in circles. I told you, sometimes she goes so fast, she actually falls over, picks herself up and carries on again. Oh, bless her up. We love pussycats. Yeah, so I made this vegetable risotto, uh, which contains no sins. Each food item has a sin value. It does, OK? And I made this, and it's it's just onions, garlic, cloves. Oh, don't you love garlic? <gasps> and and I, what I like to do is have garlic and then talk to someone really close. <sighs> and you're breathing directly into their face. Isn't it lovely to upset someone like that? It really is. Uh, garlic, cloves, cherry tomatoes, carrots, bit of celery. I didn't have celery. Green beans, uh, dried risotto rice. And I don't know what risotto rice, but I went into my little cupboard. And I found some wholemeal rice, so I'm having that. See, because I've restocked the cupboards. I've restocked the covers, cupboards with foods advised by Slimming World. Does anyone go to Slimming World? Does anyone go to Slimming World and want to tell me how they're getting on? I went for the first time on Tuesday. So this was very easy to work. Now, it says... Um, ready in less than half hour. I must say it probably took me about an hour, but I'm not used to cooking, you see. That's the trouble. I'm absolute not used to cooking from scratch. I'm used to opening a box, you know, open a box and put it in a mutmillet and bing! No one wants to cook anymore. I think this is where all our fatness is coming from. 
I really do. I mean, I got so desperate the other night, I actually removed a bread knife and I was going to cut the fat off. But then I thought, what would I do with it? So I left it on after all. I don't advise you trying that one at home either. Go to Slimmer's World or something like that. Does anyone go to Slimmer's World and want to tell me how much weight they've lost? Then you can call in. Now, if you're not, if you're listening to Upload Radio, you can't call in, OK, because you're listening to a recording of a show. However, if you're watching us live and it's 10.32 on Saturday, the 3rd of June, 2017, you are indeed with us live. It might be some other time if you're watching another part of the world. I know a lot of our friends in the States um, uh, watch and listen to the show as well. Then you can call in. The number's on the screen there, OK? 020 3477 is my local London number. Or if you've got Skype, my Skype name is all one word, United Kingdom Talk. Have you been to Slimmer's World and how are you getting on? How long have you been going for? Just a couple of weeks? Maybe a couple of months? How long have you been going for and how much weight have you lost? And are you finding it easy? Because I have to be honest with you. As I say, I went for the first time on Tuesday, Slimmer's, Slimmer's World with Linda in Wokingham at the Sally Army Church. Oh, yes. And I was so disappointed. You would have thought there would be a few tambourines playing if we went there, don't you? No tambourines. Very disappointing. No tambourines at the Sally Army, where I'm going to Slim as World. If you are going, tell me all about it. 020 3477 020 Or you can Skype in on... United Kingdom Talk, OK? Skype in on United Kingdom Talk. Let's say hello to a few people who are joining us uh, on the show today. Uh, Tweety Charlotte and Adam the Plumber is with us. Greetings to you two. Tweety and Adam. Uh, Tommy Durkin says, I'm playing Conkers. Why are you playing Conkers? What, while I'm doing my show? How rude are you? This is, this is not like, you know, a, a radio, a music station where I'm on in the background. I will not have people playing games while I'm doing my patter. It's rude, quite frankly. Rude. Please give me your full attention. Thank you. How would you like it if I come round to your house and you were talking to me and I'd shut up, I'm watching the telly. Oh, actually, I probably do that to most people that come round here. Not that I ever get any visitors. No one ever visits me round here. Nobody loves me. No one. Good. Who wants people running through their house with their dirty, disgusting shoes and feet and smells? I was talking to someone about this the other night. You know, quite honestly, I think I'm glad I'm on my own. I really am. Especially bedtime. Especially bedtime. Of course, there is the physical stuff that I might just be missing out on. Although, actually, as you get older, it doesn't matter. Honestly, it doesn't matter. But I get into my bed on my John Lewis mattress topper. Oh, luxury and comfort. I might turn on my air conditioning in my bedroom. And it's nice and cold. I like a cold bedroom. And there's no one to moan. There is no one to moan. There's no one to grab the duvet Oh, oh, can you turn the air conditioning down? It's a bit cold in here. Oh, can you move over a bit? And then, of course, there's the smells that emanate from people's certain orifices while they're asleep. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dear. I don't have to put up with any of that. I can cough as much as I like. I can make as much noise in the bed as I want. I can get up and walk. Walk to the toilet without, oh, haven't, or, or better, better walk carefully in case I wake someone up. Oh, no, you don't want to hear any of that. Come on. I bet some of you are with someone and you wish you could sleep on your own, don't you? Come on, don't lie to me. I know. I, my sister, she sleeps with everything. Her husband, the dogs, the cats. Oh, no, the cat's not there anymore. Bless her heart. Bless the cat's heart. It's gone now. But she used to sleep with two cats and three dogs, all and a husband, all on the bed. Oh, and the grandchildren sometimes. Yes, all in one bed. And she rings up. Oh, oh, my bed's broken again. Oh, surprise, surprise, dear. La 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 la. Oh, surprise, surprise. Oh, don't start singing. Silla Black, I start, I start crying again. I will start crying. Do you sleep with all your animals and pets? 
Or perhaps, perhaps you want to tell me, you want to tell me that you actually, you would rather not sleep with people. Wouldn't you want to be on your own? Go on, the other half's not listening, are they? 020-8144-3477. Unless you're listening to Upload Radio, in which case, please don't call in. The show has already been recorded and made for you, it has. Greetings to Adam the Plumber calling in from Sidcup. Greetings, Adam. Good evening, Chris. How are you? A very good evening to you, and I am fully unanimous in that, lovey. Fully unanimous. Oh, good. It is Sidcup good. you're Glad in, isn't it? Good, to hear it. I'm just phoning in about your um, your Slimming World call. Slimming World, uh, thank know, you. Calling in about Slimming World. You've been to Slimming World, haven't you now? I have indeed, yeah. I've been I've been at Slimming World since January. Oh, right, yes. Jan- I started in January this year, and I am just half a pound away from losing an amazing... Are you ready for this? Drum roll. Oh, just Three a moment. Just a mo- drum roll. Oh, just, oh, oh dear. Uh, you caught me on the harp there, Adam. You could okay. have told me that. You could have sent a little message saying, can I have a drum roll standing by? But you didn't, did you? <laughs> you thought, you thought, mention it and I'll see if I can catch him out. Right. Now, am I going to be able to find a drum roll in such a short space of time? One moment. One moment, please. Oh, 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 look, at look, at look at this. Look at this. Hang on. OK. Well, can you say what you just said again? Can it be like take two now? Oh, no, we'll not take that. Okay, how, how how many seconds for the drum roll do we have? Uh, instantly, instantly. As soon as you okay. say it, it should play. So carry on again. Okay, so since joining in January this year, I have lost just half a pound short of three stone. Oh, hang on a minute. No, just a minute. Uh, just a minute. Hang on, hang on, Gold. That's it. That's it. Now, uh, the idea when you do that, obviously you don't watch things like, you know, these quiz shows and things like that. But when you say, and the answer is, drum roll, but then you didn't Mm. leave a gap. You just went straight on with it. Ah. You've got to wait for the drum roll to finish and then come in, dear. It might be the delay. Oh, of course. Is there a little bit of a delay? There may be a bit of a delay. Oh, shall we try it once more? Take three. Okay. Right, so when you say drum roll, wait till you hear it. The drum roll lasts 10 seconds. And then come in and tell you, although you have told us, I'm not sure if they could hear you or not, then retell us exactly how much. Oh, this is very, very exciting, isn't it? Retell us exactly how much. Have you got your monitors on so I can hear it? Pardon? Have you got your monitors on so I can hear it? You should be able to hear it. Can you hear this? Listen. Did you hear that? No. Ah. No. Ah. Um, Hang on. Maybe I can turn you up. Just a moment. The trouble is I can't have that too loud. Otherwise, I shall get feedback. Can you hear this? No? No. 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 Oh, that's difficult then. Not to worry. Not to worry. Okay. Well, when you say drum roll... Right, okay. I will hit the button, then in your head, <laughs> yep. count to eight, and then okay. reveal, reveal, I want you to expose yourself, no, not expose yourself, and then expose, then reveal how much weight you've lost. Are you ready? Okay, I'm okay. ready. Okay, okay. okay. Do, it again. do it again. So, since, gen- since January of this year, I have lost an amazing drum roll. Three stone. Three stone. Well, it was a bit too quick then, but we'll leave it there. Three stone okay. is excellent. Is that, can we have a round of yeah. applause, please? I haven't got applause on here, I'm afraid. I'll have to do that myself. <laughs> but it don't sound too bad, does it, eh? A little bit of applause yeah. going on there. Exactly. <laughs> so, so there you go. That, that's, uh, that's my um, my Slimming World thing. I've, yeah, I, I've um, joined that in, in a little place called West Norwood in London, in South East London. Oh, what's that like um, there, West Norwood? It sounds like a dodgy old place, that, is it? Is it a bit no, dodgy West, there? No, West is Norwood dangerous? is a very, very expensive area. Oh, is it? Oh. A million, oh. Yeah, million pound houses around there. Well, how did you manage to get in there then? Well, well, you know. You don't sound like someone that lives in an expensive house, if you don't mind me saying so. You sound like one of those... Well, you see, no, what it is, I have to, I have to bring my accent down and my, my whole... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um... Demeanour down to the level of the United Kingdom talk studios. 
Whereas one really talks like that, you so, see. I, I beg when your one's pardon, not, when, when, when one's not on the phone, one is actually quite posh. What do you mean, bring your level down to the to, to the United Kingdom talk show? What, what do you mean by that, lovey? Well, you know, the, the more common people. Are you suggesting that I'm a common person? No, 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 not at all. Well, I think you're... Ve I'm, ve I'm deeply offended. I'm going to be politically correct now and tell you that mm -hmm. I've been offended. We're all offended I... constantly. I am offended by that. I'm offended by that. Someone suggested... You are deeply offended. Oh, yes. Sorry? You are deeply offended. I'm deeply offended. Anyway, back to your slimming world. Uh, so you've done yeah. very well, haven't you? Do you use these recipe books? Because you bought me these two in, didn't you? Now, what's this? Yeah. Ramden noodle soup. I thought it said Ramadan for the first. Ramadan first. Ramden noodle soup or Asian food. Oh, I don't know about that. What's it? What's ram? ramen? Oh, no, ramen. Uh, ramen. What is I'm ramen? I'm not quite... I'm not quite sure what, ra ra what ramen is. There's also, no. oh, winter minestrone soup. There's lots in here I'm going to be able to try. Oh, that's good. That's but good. There's an awful lot in here. Um, so that's yeah, excellent. Yeah, but I mean, I, I started my Slimming World journey because basically it was a health, health issues because I've got early stage arthritis in both knees. Right. And carrying that extra weight does not help at all. How old are you? I'm now 45 yeah, the other day. Young. So yeah. 45 the other day. And carrying the extra weight around on the knees that have got arthritis did, was not doing me any favours. It was like I was walking up two flights of stairs at home and I was out of breath and my knees were absolutely killing me right. um, back in January. And I thought, I've got to do something about this. And uh, I saw the little sign out one Wednesday evening as I was uh, driving past it and said Slimming World. So I thought, well, my friend's done Slimming World and she's lost five stone. Gosh, um, a and a couple of other friends have done it and lost four or five stone. I thought, well... Give it a try and see what happens. And people say, oh, all these fad diets. It's, the thing is with Slimming World, it's not, it's not a, diet. a diet. It's, it's not a, a diet. I've not been a diet. It's a I've lifestyle been, change. Yeah, I mean, I've been going since Tuesday. And I've, mm -hmm. I've, I've, I've religiously filled out my food mm -hmm. diary. Although, actually, I don't think I've filled it out properly. What I've been well, doing... As long as, you, as, well, long as you filled it out, that's the main thing. Because you're... Um, your Slimming World um, advisor, no, not tea, advisor. Yeah, your um, what do they call them. They're not advisors. They're something else. Um, Teacher. I can't no. Think. Agent. No. no. Consultant. Agent. Consultant. Consultant. Oh, I like that word. Consultant. Yes, your Slimming World. Yes, your Slimming World consultant will take your food diary, and she, she or he will be able to read it anyway and Isn't work out where. If, if there's anywhere you've gone wrong or if there's anything you've done slightly wrong. Right. Um, and they, they, they normally sort of stick a sticky note to it and say, you know, this is what you've done wrong. You know, see what you can change by next week. But, I mean, people say, oh, you're on diet, you're on diet. I'm not. Um, to give an example um, of what I have for breakfast, I start off my day with scrambled eggs, yes. baked beans, sausages, bacon, and two brown bread and butter and a coffee. Yeah, and that is quite acceptable on Slimming World. It's very acceptable with that, that for me. Thank you very much. I've I've actually at the moment I've completely knocked out the bread, completely mm. knocked out the bread. It's not a bad thing. It's not can, a bad thing. I mean, sorry, Dom. Can I read you my little little diary for this week? Can I read yeah, you so can, far? Yeah. So here, yeah. here we go. Tuesday, Tuesday, wholemeal spaghetti, corn mm -hmm. peppered steaks, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, uh, plain unsweetened soya milk. Porridge, Arabetta sauce, uh, and Slimmer's World chocolate. Total sins of 22. 22. Mm -hmm. I'll ask you about the sins in a minute because I tried to. Yep. I don't think it was very good how I um, uh, how I um, Watch I'm, out. Sorry, Adam. I'm just getting some news in here. Uh, All right. I can't really do the news at the moment uh, because it would be old news to the people listening on the radio. Um, I'll come to that in a minute, okay? And we'll have a okay. talk about that. I don't know what something's gone on in London. Um, bear in mind, if you're listening to the radio, we are recording this on Saturday night, so I'm not quite sure what's happened. I'll, I'll look at. The, I'll have to look uh, and, and have a look. Uh, yes. So that was, I think ninety. Was it twenty? Twenty-two sins on Tuesday. Okay. Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
baked beans, eggs, same as you, uh, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, banana, strawberry, fat-free yogurt, plain unsweetened soya milk, corn cocktail sausages, corn cottage pie, total sins, nine. Mm -hmm. Nine. Now, I'm allowed, yep. I think they said 25 for men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, yep. Is that right? And Thursday, baked beans, egg, vegetable risotto, which I made myself, uh, uh, plain unsweetened soya drink, uh, but then I was taken out to dinner uh, by my manager because I left a job this week, uh, a DJ mm -hmm. job. I left a job. Uh, and w th th we went to a pizza place. Yeah. Um, but uh, as I thought earlier, uh, a pizza mm -hmm. is about 50 to 60 sins. That's if you have a yep, thin that's crust fine. one. That's a, that's the sort of medium, small to medium one. Uh, so I had, is it panini? Penny, Penny, Penny. How do you say that? It's like Penini? it's like spaghetti, but they're kind of round, round tubular things. Uh, oh right, yeah. Um, oh, I, I know what you mean. I can't think of the proper name of them either now. Um, I think it's something like paninis or something along those lines. But I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, the round pasta cubes. Yeah. Okay, and tomatoes as well. Uh, so I was taking mm -hmm. that. So I had the, the now I'm estimating that meal. Because it did mm. contain two little bits of bread and a, a tomato bruschetta. Yep. I'm estimating that meal at about 18 sins. What do you reckon? 18? It would be probably be about that because obviously, I mean, if it's cooked in a restaurant, then obviously it depends what oils and what sauces they use to to make the um, to make the pasta sauce up with. Yes, that's what it uh, it depends on. Um, it's very hard when you when you're out. To, uh, you know, to get Very through things. But yes, if yes. you estimate it at that, then you, you're probably not far wrong. Yeah, I would say so. You know. And today, mm. um, uh, which I'll tell you about a little bit later on, I've been to a bar mitzvah mm -hmm. today, and all this food okay. came out. I've never, never ever been to a bar mitzvah. I'm not Jewish. Um, but no, my, no. one of my very, very good friends uh, who I DJ'd with for many, many years at a place called the Black Cap in Camden, um, it's his mm -hmm. son's... Uh, 13th birthday, so they have uh, the Jewish people have bar mitzvahs at 13, which is when yep. I think the ch the boy is considered to be turned into a man. Uh, so mm -hmm. they had this service, and That's excellent. Um, oh, it, oh, it was excellent. I, I, I'll tell you about it. So I left the house about um, I got up early on Saturday, actually 7:30 in the morning, and uh, mm -hmm. left the house around about nine o'clock. It was. It, it didn't take as long as I thought. Got there about ten. Uh, can you believe I got the last parking space just to, behind the synagogue? I was so <laughs> pleased about that. Now a synagogue. I have to tell you, have you ever been in one or seen inside one? I have seen inside a couple. Yeah. Okay. So um... very plain, very very mm. plain indeed. Um, on the kind of back wall, there's like a, a large cabinet which contains the Torah, which is like their scrolls, you know, like, like their version of uh, uh, the Bible, I suppose. Yeah, uh, that's I, right, yeah. I hope that, I hope comparing that like that isn't offensive to Jewish people. But it, it, to, to me, it's like, like my, we, I have a Bible, I'm Catholic. They have like the Torah, mm -hmm. so the same similar thing. So they're behind there, and basically that's it. There was like a light up star hanging in the middle. Yeah. And then just tables and uh, sorry, not tables. There was yeah, a couple of tables at the front there, and mm -hmm. just chairs. Uh, doing the service, you, yeah. no one, no one kneels down. There's no kneeling down. There's quite a lot mm -hmm. of standing up and sitting down all the time. Um. Mm -hmm. The service was a bit longer than I thought. Two hours. It was a it was a bit yeah. a bit of a long thing, especially as of course a lot of it is in the in Hebrew. Um, mm -hmm. But it was wonderful because the boy, his name was Joe. He okay. did a lot of the readings and all that, and chantings and and it's and it's a pleasant sound. You know, mm. it's actually quite a pleasant sound listening. So I was kind of able to sort of close my eyes and and get carried away with the whole thing. Um, yeah, I can imagine. It's very, it's um, it's an amazing uh, yes. experience. I would imagine. And, yes. Uh, obviously, yeah. a very, a very special um, time for for the boy. Yes, of course. Son and, son and the father. Of course. Now, interestingly enough, uh, women came out and and read bits and pieces. Now, I thought mm. that. In the synagogues, I thought incorrectly, obviously, that the women had mm. nothing to do with it at all. I didn't even think they were allowed in there. Uh, but there, okay. there were, whether that's a bar mitzvah thing or not, I don't know. 
you know, I don't know enough about the Jewish religion, but there were women in there and they did little bits and pieces and that was happening as well, which was all very nice. There was a one particular lady had the most beautiful outfit on. It was all pink and a great big pink hat. And uh, she had to carry it. the Torah. It's not a book. It's a scroll. And when I say a scroll, it's big. I mean, it's really yeah. big. They're, they're in that back cabinet, when they opened the doors, there appeared to be three of these scrolls. I don't know what that mm -hmm. is. Uh, they took out the middle one. And the lady, uh, a couple of times, they had like, she carried it around the whole room, you see. Yeah, and as it sure. came round, people would touch it or or kiss it, and you know, you know that sort of thing. Uh, she knocked her own hat off once or twice when that was happening. Um, sure. The difference I found it was, of course, it was serious, but mm. um, sometimes I noticed that like people were talking and have a little smile with each other, which wouldn't happen in the church. You know, once a service has started, you tend to sit there and look straight ahead until it's finished. So it was kind of a more dare I say, friendly atmosphere, I think. It was kind of a bit of a more uh, friendly atmosphere there. Yeah. So that happened, and then it carried on, and then David uh, David Rosen done a, a little mm -hmm. bit of a speech. And there's there's a little bit of humour in there as well. Oh, yes. All right. Now and again, oh, they good. throw little <laughs> jokes in and things like that. Yeah. Uh, because his mother, uh, who who is David mm -hmm. Rosen's wife, his mother is Buddhist. And oh, right. okay. when the boy was doing his chatting, he was trying to kind of match the two together so that everyone sure. would feel welcome. Oh, it was wonderful. Wonderful. I've, I've, about an hour and a half, I was starting to, to tar a bit and I had to go, I had to yeah. just pop outside for a moment or two to just get, catch my breath because it got quite hot in there as well. Um, yeah, I can imagine it'd be quite a packed church, I would imagine. Yes, it was. Well, it's not nothing like a church. It's nothing like no. a church. It's just a hall. It's just, and it's cool, very, yeah. very plain. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, the the chief, uh, the the rabbi was there and he thanked everyone and it was, and uh, congratulated mm -hmm. the boy and then he got certificates. And I think he got a voucher for a hundred pounds or something to use when he's 21 to go and do some, some special tour of Israel uh, that I gather. Oh, how lovely. All the boys do. Yeah. So, and it was just such, such a fantastic experience. And afterwards... After mm -hmm. all the ceremony was finished, well, I'll tell you what, yep. we'll have to just take a little break here and we'll be back. It's Chris Reardon's United Kingdom Talk on Upload Radio. Hey, how's that for timing, Adam? <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's timing, so we'll, we'll come back to that straight away now. Um, I tell you what, boys and girls... If you don't mind, I'm just going to have a look at the, the news site because people are telling me something something terrible's happened in London. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. I'll read it to you that if you're not watching the news. Police are responding to reports that a van has hit a number of pedestrians on London Bridge oh, in central God. London. Witnesses have said armed officers are understood to be at the scene after a white van mounted the pavement before driving into people. Oh, God. oh goodness gracious. You see, the tr dreadful... Dreadful. You see, the trouble is, you know, Adam, they often yep. talk about, you know, a bomb going off somewhere or mm. blowing a plane up or, I don't know, yeah. sinking a boat or something like that. One would, one would imagine that it's actually very, very difficult to do that. I would imagine yeah. it's very, very, very difficult to blow a plane up. How do you get the yeah. damn thing on there and to start? Then you've got to know how to make one. I don't know, wires and clocks and things like that. You've got to, you know, I mean, I think I've heard people have had their suitcases opened uh, because a clock has been seen in their bags. Yeah. Now, obviously, mm -hmm. always an alarm clock. But, clock, but to yeah, actually do something like that is is very easy. Now, someone's telling me now there's another mm -hmm. incident being reported at the Shard. Oh, that's just down the road from London Bridge, of course. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, that's terrible, isn't it? It is. It is very bad. Absolutely terrible. Thank you, everyone, for um for letting us know there, boys and girls. Uh, I'll just do some of your messages while while we're at the halfway mark here. Um, Craig is with us. Good evening, Craig. Jerry, Tommy's there. Asked about the games we played when we were young. Yeah, when did you play? <laughs> I will in a minute, Tommy. Uh, no gig tonight? No, John. Night off tonight because I went to a bar mitzvah earlier, so I took the night off. Um, 
Oh, playing congas. That was the games you played. Yeah, I know. I know. Alan's there. Uh, John. John says uh, South Nor. Where is it? Norwood, you are? Or you? Or your thing? Your place is? Slim as world? Um, uh, West Dulwich, yeah. West Dulwich. He says it's Chavland. It's a dump. Oh, <laughs> That's what John says. He lives in Camberwell. Um, John likes my waistcoat. Uh, and then we got the news, the, the bad news there. Good. Yep. All right. Are you ready for part two? Yep. All right. If it. you're just joining us, welcome along uh, to our little nighttime show tonight. We're recording a show at the moment for uh, Upload Radio, and we're going to record the second half now, which is uh, 29 minutes long. Are you impressed with my timing, by the way, Adam? Very impressed. You're impressed, yes. aren't Very you? Impressed, impressed. Blah, blah, blah. Ready? <laughs> go. Here we go. It's Chris Reardon with United Kingdom Talk here on Upload Radio. Welcome back, boys and girls. So I'm just talking about this bar mitzvah that I went to on Saturday this week. So it was all over, a lovely time, and then food came out. Now, this is where we're coming back into our Slimming World thing here, Adam, you see. So all yep, this okay. food came out, uh, which looked absolutely delicious. There were bowls and bowls of crisps. Oh, there were plates of cheese. There were little bits of fish. Um, oh. There were, you know, those cheese biscuits things, were they? Ritz cheese biscuits, I think they were. Yeah. Um, no there, doubt bagels. Oh, there was lots of bread there. And the lovely ladies that were there. And nice people. Such nice mm. people, all of them. And everyone was, and everyone was there, you know. Yeah. We had a family of Muslims there as well. Everyone was welcome. Uh, unfortunately, they weren't able to eat anything because they're in um, the Ramadan uh, uh, at the Fasting moment. Fasting period, aren't yes, they? Yes, yeah. because I went over and spoke to them and we had a bit of a conversation. Uh, the lady, she works for the NHS. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember what her husband does there. And they were there with their son as well. Uh, and uh, did you know they're not allowed to drink either? I didn't no, know that's that. right. Not allowed to drink or eat until no, until I think until the sun sets. Until the or... sun sets. So that that's I think that's hard going. Not been. I, I think it I, is. I could probably do the eat thing, but not to drink any water, especially with the amount of talking I do, dear. God, this is true. Snake this man. is true. So that was nice. So everyone was welcome there. This food mm -hmm. came around, and I thought, oh well, I, I can't touch any of it because I'm in it now. I've got yep. into it. It's very hard. But once you've got into it, into this whole Slimming World thing, it, su it becomes mm -hmm. easier after a few days. I, I, I never does. used to be able to drive past the BP garage or the Shell, whatever, without, oh, I just have mm -hmm. a, little, a little bag of crisps won't hurt. And I'd pop in there. Yep. And you'd get into a routine. Oh, I'm on my way on. Oh, I might as well have a bag of crisps. And you get into that routine. Once you break the routine, it becomes easier. Mm -hmm. And I've now broken it. So all this yeah, food exactly. came out yesterday. Of course, in the morning, I've already had, I had two, when I say fried eggs, I've got a ceramic yep. um, frying pan. So it's of not, course, yep. I don't know if you, do you still call them fried? I, I got that spray stuff, you know, the spray light. So I had about, yep, fry light. about four sprays of that. That's enough. Mm -hmm. In fact, to be honest, on that ceramic um, frying pan, I'm not sure that I needed any spray at all. I think it no, doesn't... No, I think, I think they actually cook on, on them without oil, don't they? Oh, really? OK. Yeah, well, I think you can probably give it one little spray, maybe. Right. Uh, but I do believe they cook on there. They're completely non-stick and don't, don't okay. require any oil, I think, if well, I'm right I, in saying. Well, I done... I'd done two eggs in that and had three quarters of a can of baked beans. So that would have been about eight o'clock in the morning. By now, it's mm -hmm. 12 30. And this yep. food's coming out of, oh, those crisps do look nice. But I didn't find it difficult not to go over and have any. But then, do you know what I no. spotted? Strawberries. What's that? Strawberries. I spotted All right. strawberries. Oh, yes. Yum, yum, yum. We like strawberries. <laughs> and the funny thing is, no one was touching the straw. And they great big fat things they were. Great big fat things. Like the ones you get from Waitrose. Well, I was in uh, Waitrose, was it um, Thursday this week? And uh, they had yep. giant strawberries. Dare I tell you how much I paid for a packet of those? Six quid. <laughs> they were for six a pounds. Of strawberries, oh dear. <laughs> but let me tell you, they're big, fat, and juicy. A little bit like myself. A little bit like myself. <laughs> Big. Well, um, well, we'll have to find out on Tuesday, won't we? We'll have to find out well, on Tuesday. Well, we will. 
We will. So, of course, the strawberries, so I went over and had, and they, 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 they were kind of on the plate. The strawberries were in the middle, and then they had, like, yep. carrot sticks around them and then something else. No one was touching that. Ah, they were all going for the crisps mysterious. and the little bits. So that's okay. I went and had a few strawberries, and I looked at another table. Oh, I'll have a few more. And I, I reckon I had a punnet of strawberries while I was there. And that's all I had, <laughs> you see? That's all I had. Well, that's not too bad. So, so I it achieved was that. An interesting day in to- in in all, all around. Then it was an interesting day. A very very interesting day. And uh, I mean I can't. I mean I can't remember being. Uh, God, going back to thirteen. God, what was uh, that? Was uh, that was a few years ago for me? Yeah, I I, I doubt know, my... very much I was as sensible as as uh, as Joe when I was thirteen. He did really well. I was so pleased that I went to a bar mitzvah. It was fantastic. Mm. Absolutely fantastic, Adam. I can imagine, but uh, yeah, I mean, going to 13, I mean, things that are around, that are around now. What are you done to your phone? You know? Come back to the Sorry. microphone, dear. How, how's that? How's that? That's better. That's Don't move your edge. You've got one of those damn iPhone 7 Pluses, haven't you? Yeah, indeed. Oh, they're just <laughs> so useful. My mate's got one, and all he has to do is slightly turn his head to the side and he disappears completely. Couple of messages coming in here. Um, Alan yep. is Alan uh, is watching the show today. He says I'm Jewish. Shalom to you as well, Alan. Shalom. Uh, I know Ray B's um, uh, with us as well tonight. He's he's one of the uh, Jewish people, and Dino, of course, is a good Jewish boy as well. So uh, so I I've seen what presumably you've I, presumably all of you have done a bar mitzvah, have you? I'm just um, I'm just guessing that 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 you've all done a bar mitzvah, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm very happy to see how how that happened. Yeah, really happy. Interesting anyway, Adam, to see different cultures, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, so Tuesday, I was thirteen yep. and a half stone. That was Tuesday. Okay. So I wait to see what I am this Tuesday. I have to say, I took a photo of myself today which you can see on um, uh, facebook.com forward slash Chris in the UK. Have a look at the photo. I can still see my tummy. Will that disappear at some point, lovey? I'm it will, just it fat will. and pregnant. I am pregnant in that picture, darling. I wish I knew whose it was. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for calling in, Adam. Thanks, Chris. Take care. Have a um, lovely evening. And Bye-bye keep now. And thank you for the nice gifts that you brought me in. Cheerio now. Cheers now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Adam, the plumber, calling in there, boys and girls. All right, 0208 344 unless you're listening on um, on Upload Radio, in which case the lines are closed. You're, you are actually listening to a recording. No point in me lying. Oh, the radio is full of liars, dear. People pretending that they're actually there when they're not. They're hiding somewhere else. They're hiding, isn't that strange and mysterious? Yes, it is. Now, here's something for you to talk about, boys and girls. Things that we remember during when we were children that children today or young people probably don't do anymore. Now, can you think of anything like that? If you can, give us a call on the phone-in number. 0208 Things that we remember today, uh, doing, sorry, when we were young people, that children of today probably don't do. Now, my biggest thing on that one, I think, is probably buying records. I was always into music and... Oh, we got. Oh, we hang on a minute. We've got a phone line coming in now. Hello, who's on the line now, please? Hi, Chris. It's Sam from the Isle of Wight. Here, Hello, darling. Sam on you? the Isle of Wight. How are you, darling? I'm good, thank you. Isley Widget. Isley Widget, we call it. Isley from Widget. From the Igly Widget. Isley Widget. Yeah. Do you not call it that there or not? Well, sometimes, yeah. I mean, I'm, but I'm actually, I'm actually abroad at the moment. Oh, where are you? To you from from Stratford at the moment, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're abroad from the Isle of Wight in Stratford. Yes, I am, darling. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that an amazing bus station there? Don't you think it's like a load of umbrellas? <laughs> no one. Yeah, they, I love they, Stratford. They, it's did, great. They, they didn't want to spend out the money for proper roofs, so they put umbrellas up. <laughs> well, it works. <laughs> oh, it's awful. I know it's too many people there for me. I like it quiet. Yeah. I do like it. I like life fairly quiet. I believe it or not, you know, considering the job I do, you know, I'm always amongst loads and loads of people, Sam. Yeah. Anyway, 
What are you calling in for, my darling? I'm calling in for when we were kids. Yes. The things that, that kids don't do nowadays. I remember recording, I mean, on a tape this was, recording the top 40 <gasps> on a Sunday. Oh, don't say it. Oh, that's very illegal, dear. <laughs> How old no, were you at the time? How old were you at the time? <laughs> I was probably about 10. About 10 years old. Well, I'll have to check with the police and the authorities. I mean, maybe <laughs> even at 10 years old, they might go backwards. You know what they're like now, dear? They go backwards. <laughs> they go back. Did you did you see that woman who took his um took her husband to 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 court like 25 years ago after they got a divorce and got money? Well, good millions of pounds, dear. <laughs> millions. Oh, dear. I think we might have to delete this from the program, darling. Recording <laughs> stuff from the radio. Oh, my God. Do you know what makes me laugh is that they actually sold the gadgets that you could do that with. I think everyone did that. And it was. Yeah, but it was it was actually having to cut in before the DJ spoke. So I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> How often were you actually quite good at that? Oh, shall I push it now? Oh, no, ju just another two seconds. Oh, shall I put? Oh, you missed it. <laughs> yeah, quite <laughs> it often. Wasn't... That's exactly what happened because I always used to do the last couple of bars of music yeah. just as the singer was finishing singing. And so they they just come straight in and talk over the top of it. So you never got a complete song anyway without somebody <laughs> right. talking over it. <laughs> That's right. And wasn't it annoying when you, 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 you push the stop button before they started talking and you think, ah, oh, I'm so pleased. But then you got another five seconds of music and you think, ah, oh, I've pushed it too early. So you wait till the next week and do it all over again, don't you? Yeah, endless <laughs> every week. <laughs> oh, the top 40. With, uh, uh, who was your top 40 countdown DJ when you were a girl? You know, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think who it probably would have been. Was it Bruno um, Brooks? No, it was probably. Um, oh God, what was his name? I'm trying to think. I can I can hear his voice now, and give, I can see can him. Give me a year in my mind's eye. You might not want so, um, to remember. If you give Tony me a Blackburn. year, you'll you'll give your age away unless you're happy Tony to do Blackburn. It. Tony Blackburn. Tony Blackburn. Oh, of course, king of all radio. You know, he rang me, Sam. Did he? He actually rung me once while I was doing my little chat show here. He actually rung me. Some What had happened, I'd been talking about him because, to me, he is the top DJ of all DJs. Always has been, always will be, right? Yeah. And I, yeah. I'd been talking about him, saying some nice things. Well, one of my friends tweeted him. I don't know what all that tweeting <laughs> business is. I can't work out all that Twittering, tweeting stuff myself. But nevertheless, <laughs> someone tweeted him. And uh, told him that I was talking and I should give him a listen. And he did. And then after the show, I'd, so I'd finished, bye-bye, played the music, everything had, everything had stopped. After the show, the phone rang. Now, that does happen sometimes anyway. People want to yeah. chat. But generally, it's it's like like this number that you've called in on is a phone-in number. Yeah. So yeah. it's on while the show's on. When it show's finished, that's it. It's finished. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. And usually I'll just, oh, you know, I'll just let that ring. But I thought, oh, I wonder who that is. So I took it. Hello. Oh, hello. It's Tony Blackburn here. And then, of course, the the the, the attitude I took then was, yeah, all right, Tony. How are you today? Yeah, I'm very well. <laughs> thanks very much. Yeah, I've just been listening to your show. Oh, yeah, Tony. What do you think of it? He said, actually, I think it's really good the way you put it all together, coming and out of news stories. And it suddenly dawned on me. And I'm like, that is you, isn't it? And he said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's but, brilliant. I know, but it was... I loved him. I loved it. I love him. I think he's, I think, you know, he's got that distinctive voice, hasn't he? Yes. You know? Yeah, and like, that's... Well, that's here's a... the top 40 now. Yeah. Sunday, you know. That's it's of great. course. I loved it. I that loved is of it. course that what gave it away. And um, we had yeah. a, a conversation. I, I had trouble talking to him, to be honest. I was just... Um, you know, I'd be all right a second well, time. You're a bit starstruck. Yeah, I was starstruck. I absolutely <laughs> was starstruck. Others, I've met another star, you know. Oh, are you ready for this? <laughs> Linda Evans. I've met... No, not Linda Evans. Linda Gray. <laughs> Linda Gray? There's too many Lindas, love, isn't there? Too many Lindas. Sue Ellen from Dallas. I've met her. 
Have you? Yes, I have. I stalked her outside Wimbledon <laughs> Theatre. She played Cinderella <laughs> about two years ago and I was waiting out the back with seven other people and we had a little <laughs> conversation, made a video. Oh, yes, dear. Marvellous. Marvellous. I love it. You stalked her. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> have you met any stars at all, Sam, apart from myself, of course? Well, and myself, of course. Obviously, looking in the mirror on a daily basis, you know. Um, yeah, I've met loads, actually. I've met met quite a lot. Because my mum was a costumer at a theatre on the Isle of Wight years oh, right, ago yeah, before she yeah. retired. Yeah. And so we used to, there used to be variety shows that used to come down every summer and stay for the whole season. Yeah. Come down at Christmas, pantos, things like that. So... I'm going to really show my age now and say people like Jimmy Carbuck, Leslie Crowther, Dickie Henderson, those sort of people, really sort of Great old people, names. great but people. Then there, were, there were people like Freddie Starr and um, you know, Larry Grayson, those sort of people. Oh, yeah, so, shut that door. But, shut that door <laughs> and enjoy the generation Ever game. Ever I love it. <laughs> Were any of them, presumably most of them were all right. Was there any of them that was not quite all right? Spill the beans. No, not All really, nice. actually. No, there were there was people like Russ Conway. Do you remember Russ Conway? Yes, yes, I you do. Know, yes, amazing yes. pianist. And, and people used to say that he was difficult, but he wasn't at all. He was lovely, right. really lovely. And um, Kenny Lynch and Jimmy Carbuck Kenny used to Lynch. play up something cruel with each other. You know, yeah, they would yeah, yeah. be on the stage ribbing each other what terribly, does his you know. old um, Jimmy Tarbuck's daughter, doesn't she do something on the TV? Yeah, Lisa Tarbuck. Yeah, she's on the radio. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I knew I knew she's I'd... On, um... Yeah, she's, she's on another channel, dear. Another <laughs> channel, dear? She's on God's another channel, God's sake, dear. man. Who knows? One day I might be on another channel as well. Oh, bless you. Who knows? No, I, I think I... you're on another planet, love. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't met too many people. I work with Bucks Fizz. Uh, oh, the yeah. Beverly Sisters, uh, the Nolans. Uh, yeah, the mum, Sup- mum worked with the Nolans as well. Yeah, so. lovely people. The Supremes yeah. uh, and people like that. There was one I met when I was quite young and she weren't very nice. Horses wouldn't drag the name from me. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what happened, though. I'll tell you what happened. Yeah. So I was working in a supermarket 16 years old. In those yeah. days, you had to push buttons, you know, so 23 pence, two, three, hit the hit the return button, you know. 15 pence, yeah. one, five, return button, you know. Click, 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 yeah. click, 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 click. None of this, boop, boop, none of that, dear. Boop, <laughs> boop, what's all that about? Boop, but none of that. No, you had to type in the price. Anyway, so I'm typing it. And when you're on the till... You didn't really, I mean, you couldn't look up at people because you were looking at the keypad, typing in the numbers, you see. Yeah. Um, and it got to the end, and then I looked up and said, that's not, I know, it's £3.25. And I looked up, and there's a woman standing there. I said, oh, wow. I said, can I just say, I really like your music. Do you know what she said? Just get on with your job. <gasps> I How can't rude. say, I can't say Radio 2. No, no, I mustn't say the name of the lady. I mustn't. I mustn't. <laughs> EP, EP. No, I'm not saying it. No, I'm not saying it. <laughs> Elaine Page. No, I didn't say it. It was Midnight, Elaine Page. That's, that was who it was. That was who it was. I bet she won't even remember that moment. But I was so disappointed. So, so disappointed. I thought, I thought, Wow. I've just told you how much I like your music and you just told me to get on with my job. And, then, you know, once someone says that to you, that's it. Don't want to know yeah. anymore. You know, perhaps Absolutely. she was having a bad day. Perhaps she'd just you. been no. sacked from cats or something like that, had she? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not necessary to be like that, is it, Sam? I hope you're no. not going to be like that when you become a megastar. <laughs> Tell us what you do, <laughs> Sam. What, I've, what I'm doing, I've been helping Adam, the plumber, to redecorate his, his new abode. Today. Oh, right. So I taught him how to wallpaper. Oh, so, I can't um, stand doing anything like that. He's done his first like ever wall of wallpaper today. I Let hope him. it's not embossed wallpaper, is it, that he's painting over? No. It's, Thank uh, God for that. giant flowers up. It's really lovely. Oh, it really... Don't you think, Sam, you go round people's houses and they've got embossed wallpaper. Oh, and it ghastly, that is, dear, <laughs> that they've painted over. Oh, it's just horrendous, that is. Embossed yeah, you with wall- white or magnolia. <laughs> oh, no, even worse. 
No, don't say that. Two. We've done one of the, we've done some of the walls in Magnolia, but it does oh, look really nice. <laughs> not Magnolia, please. Not Magnolia or Council Green. <laughs> <laughs> So what are the houses I'm not like on the anymore because Adam's <laughs> going to kill you when he sees you. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like on the Isle of Wight? Uh, is it just like large mansions and just rich people on there? Is it? I'm imagining yeah, it like that. Yeah, of course it is. Yes, of course it is. I have been to the Isle of Wight a couple of times. Have you still got that old 1930s tube train that takes you from the boat to the other end? Is that yeah. st- <laughs> is that still there? My God, how old is that train? Oh god, pre prehistoric, I think. Is it really? <laughs> Came out with the dinosaurs, I reckon. We, it's just because <laughs> the Isle of Wight gets given the old tube trains, except you know, because the, the rail stations are hanging on to everything right. at the moment. So we haven't had a new train for quite a few years. <laughs> <laughs> it is a bone shaker. I tell oh, you. Sam. Well, I, do, I like but the bone shaking fun. now and again, but not in that way. <laughs> It's been so long now, to be honest, about a year and a half. But there you go. We all get older and then oh, that's the end of it. <laughs> well, that's all right. You've got your lovely John Lewis topper on. Your I, I have got so my lovely right. John Lewis mattress topper. I might get a cover. for. Do they do, do mattress topper covers, if you see what I mean? Because yes. I'll tell you what's it, happened. Yes, it would be a mattress protector. Yeah. yeah. Ah, right. No, I've got a mattress protector on the mattress. Yeah. But yeah, then I, I feel... You put it straight over the whole thing. No, because it, 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 I, I tell you what's happened with the sheet, right? Because usually, you've got, so you've got bed, mattress yeah. topper, John Lewis yeah. mattress topper, uh, uh, sorry, bed, um, sorry, bed, oh, what did I say? Mattress protector. Mattress protector. Yes, yes. John Lewis topper. mattress topper, and then yeah. sheet. Now, what happened this week on Thursday? I've had to order new sheets because I've just gone from my winter flannelette sheets to my summer ones. And yeah. I got the, so I put them in the washing machine, got the got the summer ones out, got the summer sheet out. Of course, the, the mattress topper is only a few months old, right? So yeah. now the, the, the summer sheets don't fit because they're fitted and I can't get them down over the corners. Uh, Honestly, if it's not one thing, it's okay, another. Okay, you need it? to get the deep fill. Correct. Um, so you need to get the deep, deep frilled ones that, that yes. actually go right over. Yes. So I'm I... like the princess in the pea in my bed. <laughs> I have got a mattress. Yeah. And then I have another mattress and a topper. Blimey, and that must be really soft. My mattress protector goes right over the whole lot. Oh. Why it's have you got really that? Is it like a plastic mat- plastic mattress topper? Do you have the odd little accident? Do you, Sam? You don't mind me asking. No. That, do you know? uh, what do you mean? A little plastic? bit damp sometimes no, when you that. get up. No, it's we're all adults here, darling. We can <laughs> talk about that. We can talk about that sort of thing, lovey. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. There's no embarrassment, darling. You're not the only one that does it. My oh, cat's yeah, constantly that, wetting herself good. downstairs in the kitchen floor. <laughs> oh, the mess sometimes when I get up. But it's okay because I've got newspapers down. You see, you could have saved yourself a bit of money there. Just go down the you tube a station, little, nick a load little of mess. Ma- under your bed, Chris. Oh. Just go, all you got to do is go down that go down your tube station. You get there early in the morning, nick a load of Metro newspapers, and instead of buying mattress protectors, just put them down underneath you. And then when they get damp, you just fold them up and place them in the bin, dear, in the in the I recycling one. I believe that you shop at Waitrose. You go to John Lewis, and yes. then you're talking about getting the Metro to line the floors. With. Oh, just a suggestion, and line, dear. Line your mattress with. What do you like? Just a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> oh Sam, you sing, you don't you? Do you sing professionally? Yes. Uh, are you in anything at the moment? Um. Well, I've been doing the play that I told you about the other week. Oh we yeah, but people that. are listening so that that's... don't know. Go on, tell us. Uh, yeah, it was called. It's called Mum's the Word, and we're going back to the Isle of Wight with it next week. Oh, where's that so, one, please? Uh, Brentner Exchange. Brentner Exchange on the Isle of Wight. What's the dates yeah. on that? Um, it's next Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So I think that's the 6th, 7th and 8th at 7.30. Yeah. And we've just um, done a brief tour of London. Right. So this week we were at, at Slam at King's Cross. That's where I saw you the other night. Yes, in, indeed. Um, yeah, yeah. You came along to the karaoke. I to see you. 
and uh, and that was to, we were sort of setting up at that night, and then um, so when we popped in, when Adam and I and Jason popped in. So you've all, already been to a couple. You've already been to a couple of theatres already, so going back on the yeah, we were at N sixteen actually in Ballam, and we had that conversation before. Why is it called N sixteen? And I found out why. It's because it was actually in N sixteen, the theatre company originally, and they moved. Ah, oh, right. Then okay. they moved to Ballam. So, <laughs> so for the people that haven't heard you, what is the play about? It's about it's called Mum's the Word, and it's about the relationship between two daughters and a mother who was estranged from them when they were younger because she had postnatal depression and her mother committed suicide. So she basically left the family home and didn't return for sort of 30 years. And you come into the scene of my character, who is the eldest daughter, who is heavily pregnant with her third child, who's having marital issues, and her sister, who's a real high-flying executive type, um, decides that she's going to ditch her boyfriend because he doesn't want children, and she's decided that after all the years of saying no, she doesn't want children, she's decided she does want one. And it's about the mother coming back into their lives and the fact that the eldest daughter decides to forgive her because she knows the whole story about why she left, but the youngest daughter doesn't. And, um, and so it's basically about the relationships between women, between mothers, between families and um, postnatal depression and suicide and things like that. But having said that, which can be, sound a bit traumatic and a bit downbeat, <clears throat> there are, we, we do see the flip side of it and we do see the funny side of things and, and what have you. So a lot of the script is funny. And, um, well, I think Adam, the plumber, is the best person to ask because he saw it four times, bless him. Well, I don't think anyone <laughs> needs to go now. You've told us the old story, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't told you the end. There's a little twist at the end, but I haven't told you that. Spoiler alert. So I won't Fantastic. Do that one. We'll break a leg yeah. with your show next week back on the other one. All right, my darling. Bless Thanks you, for darling. calling in, Thank Sam. You. Okay, Back to work. Soon. Cheerio. God bless. <laughs> bye bye. Now there's Sam calling bye. in from uh, Stratford. <laughs> she 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 says she's abroad, <laughs> abroad from the Isle of Wight in Stratford. I love it. I love it. Yes. Um. So well, I was just telling you before Sam rung in. Then, um. Uh. Some of the things we remember when we were a child, uh. That we did that children today or young people pro don't probably don't do, and I think my biggest one was um, buying records, buying records. I was always into music and uh, I got into DJ and I've, I've practically given up all the DJ now and replaced it by doing karaoke. And um, I used to love going to the record shop. Um, I can't remember what it was called now, but it was it was just over Putney Bridge on near Parsons Green. It was it was a little record shop there and I used to go in there. And. After a while, you keep going to the same record shop all the time. And the bloke gets to know you and says, oh, hello, Chris, how are you? And at that point, he'd pull all these records off his shelf, give you a pile. He said, there you go, mate, go and have a listen. And then you'd go with this pile of records. It could be 20, 30 records there, into a little booth. And you put your headphones on and start listening to them. Yep, yep, I'll have that one. And then you, once you've listened to them all, <clears throat> you go back to the um, back to the till. OK, don't want those ones. I'll have those ones, please. OK, mate. And then he'd start typing it all in. and it. I, I would be spending, 25 years ago, I would easily be spending about £100 a week on records. I loved it. I loved it. I used to, you know, and you'd get these records and then it would be covered in cellophane and you'd break the cellophane and that smell of the plastic coming out of that little package was just amazing. It really was. And you'd take them home and you'd play them all over again. And that is something children don't do anymore. Children or young adults. All this downloading. I mean, it's just... I mean, I, one of the big mistakes I made when I was DJing was moving from CDs to laptop. Once it went on a laptop, the job became incredibly boring. <clears throat> Records were fine. CDs were fine. On a laptop, as boring as sin. 
and it's just a shame. I was going to ask you to call in with some other little bits and pieces um, about that, but uh, for the radio show, we've run out of time. If you're watching on Facebook Live, don't go, because I haven't finished yet. However, if you're listening on Upload Radio, we've finished the show now, boys and girls, and I hope you enjoyed uh, listening today. You can send me an email. It's chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk, or if you want to watch the live daily video show, it's facebook.com forward slash Chris Reardon UK. Have a nice week, and I'll see you hopefully same time next week. Hey. You like my timing, don't you? My timing's really good. My timing's really good. Why does that say stop recording? Is that not recorded again? Oh, it did that last time. Never mind, I'll grab it off the um, off the video later. There we are, I've done our recording. Okay, uh, let's go back to some of your um, emails now, boys and girls. Uh, I gather there is something going on in London. Um, I'm, I'm trying to scroll down here and tell us what you're saying there. Uh, Alan says there's people running for their lives. Awful scenes. This is in London Bridge. Um, Tower Bridge. Oh, someone's saying Tower Bridge there now. Uh, police have arrested the van driver. Oh, they've got them. Good, for good news. Gunfire's been reported. Uh, hmm. Let's have a look, look on the news to see if I can find anything for you. Um, thank you, Stuart. Stuart says, watching Saturday morning TV live and kicking, going live. Yeah, that was a good show, wasn't it? Going live, I remember that. Let me see if I can find anything on the BBC um, news site. I'm sure you're probably watching the telly. You'll get it better off the telly. Here we go. Latest updates. Uh, 23.21. Let's have a look. Terrified crowds flee the area. It's on BBC website. Um... As crowds fleeing the scene, many in tears, they couldn't get hold of their friends after the incident. I used to work quite close to there, a wonderful place called Belushi's. Police boats searching the river. Tube station closed. London Bridge and Borough stations are closed. Police advised the public, uh, reported to be treating injured people and carrying them away to the end of... Uh, Throw Street, I know exactly where that is, near London Bridge. Members of the public were told by police to run as fast as they could westbound. Oh, God, another one. A knife possibly involved as well. So um, that's the news at the moment coming off the uh, uh, BBC website. And you're, prob you're probably better, actually, rather than listening to me to uh, actually, you know, join the... Uh, have a look on the news channels and you'll see it much better there. All right, my darlings, thank you very much. Uh, Sky News said there's a second attack at Borough Market. Again, I know exactly where that is, Diana. I used to work literally across the road there. I did a karaoke night at Belushi's. Um, so terrible. All right. Um, Kevin says, do you remember the track shop in Soho? Yes, I do. I went there as well. Uh, what was the bloke's name in there? Tracks. Oh, I can see his face. I can't remember his name. Really good looking blo bloke he was. Oh, I can't remember now. Can't remember. All right, uh, we do today's birthdays, and then we disappear, boys and girls. All right, happy birthday today to, oh, just one today, Mark Goosh. It's Mark Goosh's happy birthday, so happy birthday to you, Mark. All right, now we didn't do a show yesterday, so that was Friday. So I'll just go back on yesterday's birthdays as well. John True, John True. Now, funnily enough, he used to come to Belushi's karaoke. He's a lovely bloke. John True, happy birthday to you for Friday, John, OK? Um, Simon Grant, happy birthday to Simon for yesterday. George Cox Creera, happy birthday, George. I've been on your, you've, I've been on your Facebook for years now. And uh, young Rick Abbey is uh, Rick Abbey's uh, birthday as well. Happy birthday to Rick. So I'll just sing the song. And then we'll be off. I'll let you watch the old uh, news channels there, OK? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Always finish with our birthdays for people. Hope oh, you had a nice birthday yesterday. Or you're going to have a nice birthday tonight as well. That's it for the show today. As I say, uh, I'd go on the news. I'm going straight downstairs now to put the um, uh, the news on to see what's happened in London. Uh, looks like another another attack. Terrible, just terrible. And um, 
as I was saying earlier, to get a bomb or something on a plane must be really difficult to do that. To go and hire a car and drive it into people. I mean, I, I could go in my car and do that now if I wanted to. It's just so easy, isn't it? How do you protect against something like that? I don't think you can. Can you? Dreadful news. And I, I hate to leave it on a note like that, but there is no other way of doing that. So uh, if you've got friends out there, I hope they're OK. All right. Thanks very much for watching and listening to the show today. I'll see you again very soon. Have a nice evening. Bye bye now.